Hey guys, welcome back to Fix It Philip. Today we have a Ford Explorer Sport Track that has some front suspension problems. Uh, the upper ball joint is worn, it has play. This one's integrated into the upper control arm, so we're gonna replace the whole upper control arm. It still has a stationary bolts, uh, so you can adjust the camber and caster when you do an alignment, so we're gonna put a camber kit on it. The lower ball joint also has play. This one's pressed into the lower control arm. And the sway bar end link, all the bushings are gone. It's just flopping around, so we're gonna replace sway bar end links as well. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. We're gonna take off the caliper uh, with the bracket as a whole assembly, move that to the side. We're gonna disconnect the outer tie rod and push that over to the side and the upper control arm and also disconnect the ABS wire. Okay, we got two caliper bracket bolts for 15 millimeters, one right here, one right here. So we're gonna take those off. Just pull it right off and remove it off to the side. I just put it here between the torsion bar and the frame so we're not letting it hang on the, the rubber brake line so we don't damage this. Okay, for the outer tie rod end, we have this cotter pin here that we're gonna take out, this castle nut. Spray with a little bit of PB Blaster. This is a 21 millimeter socket. Move this on a little bit. And then we're gonna bang on here with a hammer on the spindle and, and this ball joint will come loose. Okay, we got our ABS sensor right here. It's an eight millimeter bolt. Then we have one more eight millimeter here for the bracket onto the spindle. Okay, we're gonna take the cutter pin out for the uh, lower ball joint nut. Spray this down with some PB Blaster too. Okay, this one's a 24 millimeter. Okay, for the upper ball joint, we have a nut and bolt that we're gonna take off. This one's a 15 and a 13. Okay, and just tap it up with a hammer. Okay, now we gotta separate the lower ball joint from the spindle. Okay, on the top of the lower ball joint, we have a C-clip here that we gotta take off. Spray a little bit of PB Blaster on this. You can either use this tool to press it out, or if you hit it right here in the center with a hammer, uh, it should come out. Just try not to hit the outer edge because if it mushrooms out here, then you're gonna have a hard time getting it out. So I just use this part of the hammer right here in the center. And 
There it is. Okay, so we're gonna press this ball joint back in with the ball joint press tool. Just put the adapters you need. Okay, so that looks like it's all the way in. Just make sure as it's all the way seated up here, which it is. So now we can put the new C-clip on and it has a little grease fitting that we're gonna screw in there so we can grease it up later. point this to the side so we can put grease in it later easily without it pointing this way or towards the rotor. Okay, I'm gonna take out the bolts for the upper control arm. We have one here, and one over here on this side. Now this is a 21 millimeter. These are the factory square washers that keep the uh, alignment stationary, but the actual hole in the frame where it bolts is actually an oblong hole, so that's why we're gonna put uh, camber bolts with the oblong round washers, so that way they can do the uh, alignment properly with the uh, for the camber and the caster. Okay, here's the new upper control arm. And here's the, the camber bolts.
these washers pointed straight up so it's right in the center and not upside down. Okay, I'm gonna take this old sway bar end link off. It's a 15 on top and a 16 millimeter on the bottom. So the new one is gonna be a washer, then a bushing first. Then another bushing, washer, sleeve. Then washer, bushing. Then bushing. Washer and then the nut. Again, just make sure the bushings are centered and turn it down. Okay, lift these bolts a little bit loose so I have some movement here so that way we can get the spindle back on and get this pushed back on it. Okay. Okay, we're going to push this back in. This groove needs to match up with this bolt hole. I left these bolts a little bit loose. I'm gonna lower down the car, put jack stands underneath the lower control arm and put the weight of the vehicle um, onto the jack stands so that way these uh, raise up a little bit and then I'll tighten them down. So I just gotta put the caliper back on. All right, everything's put back on. Caliper, new upper control arm. Got the camber kit on here, sway bar end link, lower ball joint, got them all filled up with grease, top and bottom. So everything is good. Did the same thing on the driver's side. Same thing, control arm, sway bar end link, new lower ball joint. So it's all done. Okay guys, that's it for this Ford Explorer Sport Track. Just gotta put the tires on, get the alignment done. Thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button below. And remember with Fix-It Philip, you can fix it. I'll see you next time.